New DJI Avatar 2 and Goggle 3 League reveals exciting upgrades. I have been very reluctant to jump on the FPV bandwagon as my eyesight is not really optimized for that kind of flying. I would constantly fear if I crashed or lost the drone as it presents or represents a significant investment. I have been flying a little bit of FPV here inside the house with the Beta FPV kit. This kit is a low entry analog Cinewoop style kind of kit. So getting into trouble with that one would only set you back a little. But it's not practical for anything else. It's basically only for getting to sort of know the FPV feeling and how it feels to fly your drone with goggles. And outdoor with that one was a big no-no. <laughs> but now with the leaks of the DJI Avatar 2, as well as the Goggle 3 that has starting to surface, promising some really exciting enhancement compared to the predecessors. I might decide to take the plunge with the Avatar 2. If we take a look at the, the images released by Quadro News on uh, Twitter, we would see that it's basically the same Cinewoop design, but it has been completely redesigned from the ground up, making a different battery compartment, as well as showing a new triple bladed prop design that are still safely tucked away inside the docks of the drone. Sticking to that design is a very, very wise decision for DJI because this will make it a lot easier for people that just wants to enter into the FPV world to fly around with these drones and actually light crash them without destroying them. Cinewoops are especially well designed to flying indoors. So as you can see, the new design is supposed to incorporate fully encased batteries, departing from the original skeleton structure. It seems the battery slides in from the back with a locking mechanism similar to something that we have seen on the Air 3 and the Mavic 3. The new design would indicate a more complicated repair process in case that you crash it. But the old Avanza could take quite a lot of beating before it actually broke. And I'm pretty sure that DJI has been prepared for this with a swap and repair service in place once this drone hits the market. Apart from the redesigned battery compartment and the propellers, it's rumored to include a larger sensor, one that is similar to what is used in the Osmo Action 4, which could make the drone deal with the low light capabilities that was missing from the predecessor. As the low light capabilities of the Osmo Action is actually quite uh, good, according to the test that I've seen. This will probably also mean that we will see some kind of rock steady digital stabilization that's being included in the package as well. Having good low light capabilities is super, super important when you have a city whoop FPV drone, when you're sipping in and out of uh, buildings with light conditions changing all the time. So this is a very, very nice upgrade if that is the case. The drone might offer smoother recordings with capabilities of full HD 1080p up to 240 FPS. And I do want to point out everything that you hear in this video is based on rumors and speculations. There's nothing confirmed from GGI as of recording of this video. A substantial increase in the battery size would indicate a longer and better flight time. 35.7 watt hours to 50.1. This could bring us in uh, the range of uh, the mini drones if you're not flying it too aggressively. According to a well-informed source, the weight clocks in around 450 grams, which will make it a C1 classified drone in EU under the EASA drone regulations. This would at the same time mean that you would need to have remote ID enabled on the drone per default and it does not eliminate the need for an external spotter when you fly FPV. Along with the leaks about the Avatar 2, rumors about a new HD headset also surfaced called the Goggle 3. Images suggest that this headset comes with two new exciting features. Two cameras on the front enabling visual pass-through capabilities. Additionally, a hinge placed on the forehead indicating that you might be able to flip up the goggles as this addresses a common issue with FPV goggles that are normally with the strap are blocking your visuals to the outside. I'm very intrigued if they can be adjusted to fit my eyesight. You can see what I mean. <laughs> if I just relax this eye, it goes out. I can also turn them around, <laughs> but that's a different story. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm very intrigued if they can be adjusted to, to fit my eyesight. And the fact that they are not fixed to your head and sort of hinged from your forehead, if that is sort of affecting the clarity. 
Another leaked detail about uh, the Goggles 3 are that it comes with a comparable battery to its predecessor, but that the weight will increase quite significantly. The weight would go from 290 to 420 grams, potentially because of the new features and enhancements. This is quite a lot, and this will be very interesting to see how head heavy they are and how uncomfortable they will be to wear after longer periods of use. As DJI yet has to officially announce these products, the accuracy of these leaks, as well as pricing and availability, remain unconfirmed. But what do you think about all of this? What would you like to see in the new Avatar 2 combo? Let me know in the comments below. And a big thank you to Quadro News for providing an insight on this topic. I would highly recommend to go and check out his profile on Twitter and follow him as well if you are into getting the latest and greatest news around DJI products. I hope you liked this video. If you did, then feel free to give a like. If you did like it, feel free to press the dislike button twice. Thank you for watching and I'll be seeing you in the next one. New I can just show what I mean. <laughs> as well as the goggle through goggle goggle goggle. <laughs> Proming some proming sing song sing song. Which was not particularly a strong okay. Additional additionally additionally and to be quite transparent, I would be okay. <laughs> and I would constantly fear 